Percutaneous laser discus decompression, in short PLDD, is an effective hypothermal minimal invasive treatment for contained disc herniations. The precise application of the laser energy into the nucleus pulposus of a discus reduces intradiscal pressure, leading to a reduction of nerve root compression. The laser heat also achieves a thermal destruction of intradiscal nociceptors which are often responsible for a discogenic pain syndrome. The results after microdiscectomy in patients suffering from sciatica due to small contained discus herniations are not satisfying. The re recurrence of sciatica is nearly 40% and the re-herniation rate is 13%. Also, complications like secondary bleeding, infections, peridural scar tissue formation, iatrogenic microinstability, dural sac tear, and revision surgeries are common. The indications for PLDD are contained disc herniations with consecutive foraminal stenosis causing sciatica in patients with failure of conservative treatment. Also patients with low back pain originating from a damaged vertebral disc, especially a ruptured annulus fibrosus, benefit because of a thermal ablation of the ingrowing nerves into the nucleus pulposus. The post-nucleotomy syndromes are also very treatable. The nucleotomy at the lumbar spine is carried out with an 18G needle under fluoroscopic guidance after local anesthesia. The right position of the tip is the dorsal one-third of the discus. It is important to maintain a parallel alignment of the needle between the vertebral bodies. The right position should be controlled in AP and lateral view. A discography with contrast medium leads to further information about the condition of the discus. A memory pain test, which is a provocative test because of an intradiscal pressure increase, is also a good diagnostic tool and is routinely performed before treatment. After the correct needle replacement, the glass fiber is inserted. The fiber overlaps the tip of the needle by 2 mm. After adjustments, the laser is started in pulse mode. For the cervical spine, I use a 20G needle and an anterolateral approach. The advantage of PLDD is the minimal invasivity and the avoidance of significant soft tissue injuries. No serious complications are described, especially no risk of peridural fibrosis or scarring. PLDD is an outpatient treatment. It is performed under local anesthesia or mild analgo sedation. Patients have a minimal recovery time compared to microdiscectomy and the costs are much lower. PLDD is a hypothermal, minimally invasive treatment with no serious complications. PLDD is easy to perform, has a high success rate and a quick effect, needs no long-term rehabilitation and is repeatable if necessary.